Hi, I'm Lauren, and welcome to Master Spas TV, your spot to learn how to practically everything with your Master Spas hot tub or swim spa. In this episode, we'll cover the best practices for maintaining the quality of your water. Let's get to it. Master Spa's state-of-the-art filtration system is excellent at maintaining quality water. That said, regardless if you own a Master Spa's hot tub or some other brand, it's important to establish a proper routine for monitoring and treating your water to ensure a clean and enjoyable experience. Several factors can play a part in the level of water maintenance needed, such as what's in the air and where the hot tub is placed. But the biggest factor is you and how often you, your family, and your friends are using your hot tub. If you're new to the Master Spa's experience, the guidelines in this episode will be a great place to start for maintaining the chemistry of your water. But don't be afraid to monitor things more closely, especially when your hot tub is being used more frequently. On the flip side, you don't want to neglect your hot tub either. Even if you go several days or even a couple weeks between uses, it's a good idea to check in and see how your water is doing. It's important before each time we use our hot tub, or any hot tub for that matter, to always test the water for proper sanitation levels. No one should enter the water if the free chlorine levels are below 2 parts per million or if the total chlorine level is above 5 parts per million. Everyone reacts differently to chemically treated water, but if our levels are too low or too high, we can have a less than desirable experience. If you're new to owning a hot tub, it would also be wise to check your water two to three times per week to see if other levels like pH and total alkalinity get too high or get too low. If that's the case, you may find yourself needing to apply a pH increaser or decreaser. The amount to be applied can vary based on the size of your hot tub and the chemical concentration of the product you're using. You can refer to your hot tub's manual and the instructions on your chemicals bottle to know how much you should be applying to make the proper adjustments. When we go to perform a test, we also need to be careful not to get any of the other test strips wet while checking our chemical levels. Looks pretty good. Next, we'll perform what we call a shock to our water on a weekly basis. We do this by adding a non-chlorine shocker oxidizer or a small amount of chlorine granules to the water. This will help maintain sanitary water conditions. The water should also be shocked after each use. This will help address any contaminants introduced to the water. Remember when adding chemicals to always spread them across the surface of the water while all the therapy pumps are turned on. And that's basically it for maintaining quality water on a daily and weekly basis. To limit your use of chemicals, you should be cleaning your filters at least once per month. And then every six months, completely drain your spa and refill it with fresh clean water and replace the EcoPure filter element. We've made additional videos to guide you through each of these maintenance steps, so be sure to check them out. And there you have it, our secret sauce for keeping water pristine on a regular basis. If you have any more questions about maintaining the chemistry of your water, you can email us at customercare at masterspas.com and we'd be happy to help you out. And make sure that you check back in here for more Master Spas TV. If you have any ideas for future topics, please email us at howto at masterspas.com. Until next time, happy hot tubbing.